Ralph C. Jensen reporting from ISC West in Las Vegas. Meeting with Frederick Nelson, the general manager of the Americas for Access Communications. Frederick, thank you for the time. Thanks. Uh, let's start a first question, Frederick, with IP cameras and what you're introducing at ISC West today. So we're introducing a lot of things, and instead of going through, the, I think, close to 10 products, the themes are really the improved and better image quality. And how we package that, which is really appreciated by both resellers and distributors, are the HDTV concept, which everyone can relate to the 720p, the 1080 P that they have at their home uh, with the big flat screen TVs and that's the image quality we can provide today with network video. So we have a slew of product from PTZ domes to small fixed cameras to more high-end cameras that includes even 5 megapixel resolution if you would like to. So image quality and HD net, HDTV network video is kind of one of the big themes here at the show. Frederick, let's talk for a minute about verticals that you serve and, and that you see making an impact in 2010. So obviously cameras goes into all verticals and early on we were very successful and we still are in education and healthcare because of the kind of cam campus type environment that suits IPV very well because of the size and scalability. But we start to see more and more retail, we start to see more and more government and we just uh, a couple of weeks ago introduced one camera which is a thermal network camera, the first true thermal network camera. That is, there's a lot of interest in, in all verticals but specifically in the government vertical. They seem to have a lot of applications where an easy to integrate uh, capable camera is very applicable for them. There's a lot of trends. Uh, we're talking about technology and what trends do you see on the horizon for the security industry? I, I mean, the whole trend of IP is still gaining momentum and gaining strength. It's still the smaller piece of the market, 20, 22 percent. is definitely growing uh, much quicker than the analog and it's on its path to take that over. But there's a, the next trend coming on the horizon and one of those trends are hosted video or hosted security or security as a service, the SaaS concept that people talk about. And in any economy, and especially in a tough one, it really makes sense to look at how do you spend your capital and might it be better to outsource certain things and spend the money on the operating expenses than on the capital expenses. And the amount of interest we've had in this since we started to talk about it uh, a year ago is tremendous. And here at the show we introduced several new partnerships including Sonitrol and the Sky that are launching services for hosted videos. So that's, that's going to be the next game changer in this industry. One last question, uh, Frederick, and, and it's, I guess, product specific. Would you just address uh, your product en uh, encoder and what end users can expect from that? that? That is a great question. We always forget to talk about it because if you look at the 20 million or so analog cameras that are still installed, I think there's a lot of things you can provide. You can provide the HDTV resolution if you're using analog, but you can do a lot of other things. And our encoder line, we focus a lot over the last year or so. We have anything from an 84 channel rack down to a very small single port encoder that includes power ethernet so you can power the analog camera. And that is also a good first step for people to kind of, as a hybrid solution, bring themselves into the IP world. So, so that's, a, that's a really good question, and, and we're starting to see also very good momentum in that range. Frederick, thank you very much for your time. I hope this has been a great show for you. It's been an excellent show. Thank the you. The traffic is excellent, and it uh, looks like people are very serious about security. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Ron. Thanks for stopping by.